Swamiji, how can I keep that balance in both joy and sorrow? When the joy comes, whee! And when the sorrow comes, should I not do it? Yes, you must. But you will be a very ridiculous picture in the world. Why? Where joy goes, sorrow comes. Where sorrow goes, joy comes. There cannot be a moment when neither joy nor sorrow. The absence of joy is called sorrow. Absence of sorrow is called joy. Things must happen. When the things happen, it is either joy or sorrow. Now look at the wear and tear on the muscles of your face. <laughs> Is it worthwhile? Huh? So when the joy comes also, mm. sorrow comes also. Mm. Think of it. Because when the joy comes, you know that it is not going to be permanent, it will go. So it's not unexpected that the sorrow came. And this I was expecting, even in those days. Why? Because when the joy is there, sorrow must come. And when the sorrow comes, I'm not going to be drowned in it. Because I know that it cannot permanently stay there. It has to go without my effort. Why? Because nothing can remain permanently in this world. It is an Einsteinian world of time. It is a flux. It is a flow. Oh, you're not worried about it. But Swamiji, how can it be possible? Is it not that we will bump up and down? Therefore, you must have a stay, a hold, so that these bumps up and down is enjoyable rather than you become victimized by it. Therefore, the teacher says, Mai Chananya Yogin, Mai in me. Ananya Yogin, Ananya with no otherness in the mind. Yoga. Try to tune up your attention to me exclusively. Bhakti Ravya Bhicharini with Bhakti Devotion. What kind of devotion? Avya bicharini, vibhichara prostitution. Avya bicharini, unprostituting love. Prostituting means disloyal. Oh, Bhagavan, give me the lottery. This is called prostituting. You are not loving him, you are loving him for something. Abhya bhijarani, turning our mind totally towards it. 